Hi Scorpio viewers, I'm going to be looking into your love life. Okay. This could be a past, present, future person, ex, a new person coming in, just whatever your story is. Let's see what we get. Alright, so for the Scorpios that are drawn to this video. What's going on with your love life right now? Let's see, what's the story right now that we need to know? The Hierophant. The Queen of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles and Ten of Cups. So this reading tells me that you're trying to focus on yourself a lot right now. You're trying to focus on your, your finances, career, hobbies. Um, maybe somebody was hurting you and so you're just trying to take your mind off them at the moment. I want to say that there's two different stories here. So I'll get into the love aspect of this first. I just It looks like your guy just wanted to give you a quick update on um, something else in your life that doesn't have to do with love particularly so the seven of pentacles so i feel like there's two different stories here you see how the seven of pentacles is looking at the hierophant and the hierophant is all about um you know learning and in social groups and organizations so for some of you you know just looking at this at these two right here looking at how how she's looking at him um i feel like this could be like a social group that you've been trying to integrate into or it could be just some type of movement or some type of group that you've been trying to start or some type of it could be anything like with with a career or hobby just something that you've been really bleeding for that you've been working hard for you've been working hard you have all these beautiful ideas and you've just been really working hard to make them physically manifest and this reading is telling me that they are finally starting to physically manifest so with the hierophant it's like that's something that whatever this represents to you, it's something that you bled for, that you've been working for, you've been, you know, giving your all for, and it's been hard, it's been a really rough path, it's been a lonely path, um, you've had to be patient when, you know, you weren't seeing results, um, you, you know, you've had to stay focused, but you've, you've managed to do that, and so you're finally getting your ten of cups, which is abundance in all areas of your life, especially the emotional aspects of your life, for another group, for a second group of people that are watching this, I feel like it could actually be you going against society's um, traditions and standards and, you know, your family and friends, you know, opinions and their standards and their just, just societal pressure, basically. Um, you know, you, you made your own path. You're in, you're the queen of pentacles right now. That's the energy you're in. You're, you're strong and powerful and, and, you know, developing your confidence and, um, you know, you might be going against society, against the societal expectations and just making your path, you know, maybe exploring your psychic ability, exploring witchcraft, exploring um, things that are frowned upon by most people, um, going down a path that makes you happy, even if it's not financially profitable, even if it's not what your parents or what society expected of you or wanted from you it's like you're just making your own path and you've worked hard and bled for everything that you have and you finally have the ten of cups coming in you finally have you finally have you know uh love and career and, and your hobbies and just this abundance in all different types of areas of your life um Let's see what we can get on your love life now, though. That was just, uh, I think that was just a quick message for some of you guys just saying, you know, your hard work, it is finally manifesting. Um, I think you probably went a long time without seeing much uh, confirmation in the physical world, and I think it's telling you that you're starting to see that confirmation in the physical world now, finally. So, let me see going on in your love life what can we say about love the messages want to come through regarding love i think you're kind of just focusing on yourself right now but you're man again you're manifesting what you want like you're in this you're you're at that point so it's good energy i'd say let's go with 
close. Understanding, individuality, belonging, movement, and self-worth. I feel like you're letting go of a lot of the past with the understanding card. I think that... I think that you're going through this phase where you kind of feel more forgiveness for people. You kind of just, you you have this higher perspective. You're enlightened right now. You're kind of just seeing, um, you don't have to forgive people. You know, if you don't want to forgive people, if it doesn't feel right, then don't forgive them. But I do sense that energy. You know, I was drawn to that. Um, you, know, you just kind of have this understanding of why everything had to happen the way it had to happen to get to you, get to get you to where you want to be in life. Um, you, you're realizing other people are just human with their own flaws, their own insecurities. They make mistakes too, just like anybody else does. So I think that you're, you're reaching this point of enlightenment and, um, an understanding right now. And I think that your focus is, is heavily on yourself at the moment. Um, not that there's not love around you, but I just get this sense that you're really focusing on being the person you want to be right now. With the individuality card here, you're kind of you're you're realizing that your experiences have made you who you are. They've shaped you. They've you know all the good, all the bad. It's made you the person you are today. It's given you you wouldn't be in the the living situation or the place you're, you're at today if if not for all these experiences. And I think that you have this new appreciation for that. And I feel like that energy, too, is drawing love to you because you have this new sense of self-worth. You're developing genuine confidence right now, and you're finding out where you belong. You're figuring out. you figured out who you are, I think. I think you, you have a pretty strong sense of who you are. I feel like you are somebody who's very introspective, so I don't feel like, I don't feel like you don't know yourself. I feel like you do know yourself. And you are moving forward in your life. It's It's... Yeah, you know, this is the movement card right here. And I almost want to say, like, with the belonging card, it's like maybe you're finding people from your soul group finally. Maybe you, you have new friends or new love in your life that's making you feel more at home. And that sense of belonging, it's giving you this very strong base to um, to move forward and to, you know, continue to d develop deeper and more genuine confidence in yourself and, and understanding of who you are. It's like you just you have this higher perspective right now. Um, I do sense new love around you again. I think the focus is, is heavily on you at this time. Uh, let's see what we can get though. But I think that you're, you are manifesting lo new love into your life. Just your energy, your, you're in this like very, I don't know if it's a humble energy. It's almost like a very wise, very spiritually enlightened, um, energy. It's this new perspective. And I feel like Maybe if there's people around you that you hadn't noticed before, you're going to notice them more now because of this energy, or you're just going to be drawing in better quality people, but you're still in this kind of transition phase, you know? Like, you want to make sure that you're solid before you get into anything with anybody. Let's see what we can get, though. Let's see. Is there any insight on... So for my viewers right now, what is there any insight into their love lives? Like, what can we say about love? What is going on when it comes to romantic love? I feel like you're being protected by your family members right now or friends. There's there's a lot of support around you, I feel. A lot of, you might, again, like I said, a lot of you might be meeting your soul groups. Like, some of you are just now finding, like, your people, I think. And there's just, I don't know, there's just this strong sense of support. So let's see what's going on with love, though, romantic love. Prophetic dream, okay. Yeah, feminine energy, it's good. It's hmm. complication, hidden desires. It's good energy, it's not bad. It's complicated energy, but it's not necessarily bad. I think this this part of the reading at least is mostly pointing to things that might be blocking you from love still. Um, I don't think it's a bad thing that you're focusing on yourself more right, right now. I think that that's that's good overall. Um, you might be having dreams about your person. They might be having dreams about you. They're, you know, you might have had prophetic dreams about them. You might be aware that they're coming in soon. 
With the rest of the cards, though, I just get this sense that it's it's pointing to your blocks. It's it's saying psychic chains and blocks need to be removed. So this could be like subconscious issues. This could be um, psychic blocks. It's gonna be fear of opening your third eye. Um, just things that are blocking you on a telepathic level that need to be removed. With hidden desires here, I kind of feel like this is more about you. I mean, it could be a secret admirer that's kind of watching you and they're just not sure how to talk to you. But for a lot of you, I feel like this is you holding back your feelings. Um, I feel like this kind of sense of shyness and like hiding your feelings and not feeling like you can come forward with what you feel. And it has a lot to do with what you've been through in the past. You know, here we have nightmares. This is fear, anxiety. This is um, an unstable mental state. And, you know, possibly over or under active chakras, blocked chakras. So it's just kind of telling you that there are still some subconscious and psychic blocks that are, that are stopping um, true love from coming in. Um, I think that you hold on to too much fear and anxiety. You might overthink things at times. There's still this, this shyness and this fear of rejection. And so it's almost like you'd rather dream about people and have it, you know, you'd rather just have those dreams but not actually pursue in the physical because it's, like, scary to you for you, I think. Um, and it's saying, you know, if love is to, to come in, if you're going to have mutual love, you need to clear up these this psychic debris, these these chains, um, the, you know, the things that are blocking you, the, the fear, the anxiety, the... The, you know, the pain, the fear of rejection, the fear of, of living your life and putting yourself out there. You know, you have to work through that fear if you're going to have love. And it might be good to do some, um, some chakra work right now, too. You might need to do chakra clearing if that's not something you've done in a while. It's telling you it's time to do that again. And when you do, I think when you do all this stuff, you're going to get into this more, well, water magic for one thing, that's like cleansing, like bath spells, healing spells, just cleansing energy. But it's also about, this card's also about like lust and seduction. So it's like telling you like you're going to be, you're, things are going to be cleared away. Like it's just, it's water energy, but it's, it's also this energy that you're going to be in where I think that you're going to start feeling more confident. I think you're going to start feeling more seductive and you're going to start um, just manifesting what you want out of out of love and out of life. I feel like you're going to just be a magnet for love once you get to that point. There's just these little blocks that you have to address and, and clear up. But, you know, like I said, your perspective is shifting a lot, so I think that that is happening for you right now. Let's see what I can get. Okay, is there anything else to say about love? So we know that there's, we know that it's time to clear up anything, you know, blocking you guys from love, but is there anyone around, like an ex coming back in, or a new love interest? Is there anything in the way of love? Can we see what's going on with that? Cut and clear, feminine energy, relationships, and again, chakras. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, yeah, see, again, it's talking about somebody that you need to cut and clear, I think. Because this is ending toxic soul contracts and toxic relationships and, like, healing subconscious patterns, healing childhood wounds, you know, freeing yourself, doing the, doing the work and freeing yourself. And with relationships, this is like a third-party situation or a karmic situation. And I feel like maybe it's really impacted the way that you interact with others. It's impacted your ability to trust others, your ability to open up to other people. And so it's kind of telling you, like, you need to... You need to cut and clear. You know, you need to heal from this. You need to address this. This could be someone, it's not even necessarily somebody that hurt you recently. It's just somebody that like mark a before and after period in your life. So it could be recent pain. Um, but for a lot of you, it could just be somebody that you've never really fully gotten over. And they've kind of blocked you from manifesting, you know, the person that you want. And again, you do need to do chakra work right now. This keeps coming up. 
so it's it's pointing to your blocks right now but I do sense the love coming in after you do all that Let's see if we can get anything else on that and this person was like a karmic person so it wasn't even really your person but at the time it probably felt like they were like this probably felt like a twin flame or it felt like someone that you wanted to spend your life with but then it's like things just changed you know um and so yeah there's just this strong message that you really are gonna have to to do a lot of healing work and cutting and clearing and freeing yourself from because you still have these blocks you know you still have these blocks that need to be removed you do need to do some chakra clearing work you do need to do cut and clear work uncrossing healing um you know allowing room in your life for new loves to come in you know there's no space it's like new love wants to come in but it's like blocked out like it can't come in because you you still have these things that you're you're somewhat conscious of but mostly not conscious of these psychic blocks that need to be removed so so yeah work on those let's see what else we can get if there's anything else that needs to be said about your love life Okay, so chakras again. <laughs> Masculine energy. Power struggle. Shield. Empath. Past life. Sacred gift. See, I think this is just kind of still talking about the blocks. It's still talking about, you know, we have mental blocks here. This could also be like ego, anger, competition. This could be somebody that you were in a power struggle with. Um, it might be that X that you need to cut out, that you need to let go of. Um, it's like they didn't really get you. Like there was this miscommunication there. And so it was this battle with them. And, you know, with S.H.I.E.L.D. here, it's like you had to be defensive. You didn't feel like you could be yourself with them. Um, it was kind of, it was just this. It was just this power struggle, you know? And I feel like in the future, you're going to meet somebody who you can just be yourself with. So with the empath here, this is, you know, picking up on others' emotions. And I feel like you have a lot of empathy that you haven't really learned. You haven't fully, like, balanced that empathy out. Um, I think sometimes, like, your passion is just kind of almost like you've lost control of it. And it turns into anger or it turns into a power struggle with somebody. It's like a lot of people don't really understand you. But I think that you're starting to set boundaries. And with the empath card here, I do feel like you're going to meet somebody who's, who's a lot more gentle and a lot more understanding. So when you're, you know, in this passionate, fiery energy, they're going to understand that more. They're going to they're gonna take the time and effort to understand you. Um, and so they're not just going to immediately shut down or see it as a competition. They're going to try to understand where you're coming from. And this could definitely be a past life connection that you have with this person. Um, I think that you're awakening to your own past life memories. But I think with this person, it's going to help trigger some of those past life memories as well. And, you know, you're just reminded that you have divine love and support. You you have your guides around you. I almost feel like with the divine intervention here, it's kind of saying like your guides are, are trying to push you out of out of that past energy they're trying to push you out of your comfort zone they're you know your mind is stubborn but they're trying to bring you new love anyway even though you know you, your mind might fight it to some degree it's like your, your guides still want you to have that new love so that is coming in for you um again just just do just there's a lot of clearing work that needs to be done you know i think that you might not be as emotionally available as you think you are and you really need to like kind of sit with that and um, see just how you can open up yourself more you know have you been going for people that are have you have you maybe been open to a degree but you've only been going for people that are emotionally unavailable or abusive and you haven't really been noticing the people that like might actually commit to you and just have a stable relationship with you know 
is like, have you only been noticing a certain type of person? Like you got to kind of ask yourself those questions and work on clearing out the things that need to be cleared out so that you have room in your life for, for true love to come in. Um, that you are, you are divinely guided, you have your guides around you, and you have a strong support system that you've built up or that it is currently being built up right now. So it, it's a good reading overall. Thank you guys for watching. Um, subscribe or, and share, please, if this resonates. Thank you.